Hey everybody, today I'm going to unbox and review a watch from Vincero Collective. Now the particular model I have here is part of their Chrono S collection and it is the white and gold model. This one retails for 149 US dollars and they do offer free worldwide shipping. So taking a look at the watch box with any watch it's important to look at the box and here we just have a simple you know compact box that comes in a sleeve which is pretty nice and then the box itself has this really nice soft touch material again really simple shiny Vincero logo there now lifting up the lid the watch is presented beautifully here Let's pulling this out and this is a chronograph style watch so it has a really bold look to it, very masculine look to it. Now, <clears throat> just going over the technical sort of specifications of this watch, it does come presented on this beautiful, genuine leather strap here with sort of crocodile uh, pattern to it. Really nice, and it has really good stitching here. Really nice detail if you see there. And on the back, you can see the stitching as well. You got your Vincero branding. And there you go. You do get your leather strap keep here on the top. You do get a polished stainless steel buckle with Vincero branding. Now, what I like about this is that the leather comes soft right out of the box. So it's not stiff and it's comfortable to wear straight from the beginning. Now, what's operating this watch is a Citizen Miyota Quartz Movement, which is encased in a 316L stainless steel case which is 43 millimeters in diameter, so it may be too big or too small, depending on who you are, but for me, it's the perfect size. And then the, the thinness or thickness, depending how you view it, is 10.5 millimeters. Now, taking a look at the back here, which is my favorite part of the watch, you do get Veni Vidi Vici, uh, excuse me if I pronounce that wrong, but on the bottom here it says build your legacy. Now I like what Vincero did here uh, instead of you know just listing the specifications on the watch of the watch on the back they just add their own personal flair to it and I really like that and you do get this sort of marble inlay in the middle. I'm not sure if it's real marble uh, but it certainly does look like it. Now on the right side you get you do get your timer, you do get your reset button and your crown of course and this does have a date window which we'll take a look at later but you just pull once to change the date and all the way out to change the time and yeah you do get beautiful watch lugs here which does incorporate this sort of uh, interchangeable strap system where I really like that Vincero did this because if you want to change your strap all you need to do is just push down this pin pull it out and you can just add your own uh, strap to it and this is a 22 millimeter strap so keep that in mind and if you want to put the strap back on, it's kind of hard to do on camera, excuse me, but you just put it back in the notch and then you snap it back in place. If I could find it. There you go. It snaps just back in. Alright, now, taking a look, or excuse me, before I mention the watch face, this watch is water resistant up to 5 ATM, which means 50 meters. And now let's take a look at a closer. A view of the watch face. I'm going to change my setup a little bit so I can get you a more detailed look at it. Alright, so here's a more up close and personal view of the watch face. Now this watch face is covered with a hardened mineral crystal which Vincero is actually saying is sapphire coated as well. So it's not pure sapphire crystal that's covering this watch but it, it is sapphire coated so that's really good especially for $150 to you know have that feature. So if you're, you know, you're wearing a long sleeve t-shirt, uh, hoodie, sweatshirt, button down, uh, scratches shouldn't be a problem. So looking at the dial here, you do get a white dial with gold hour hand markers. You do get a hour, minute, and second hand, and those are gold as well. And then the, these, the hour hand and the minute hand do feature these sort of luminous glow-in-the-dark hands, which I just knocked my camera there, excuse me. Um, you see those white strips that run through the minute and hour hand? Those are the parts that glow in the dark. I don't know if it's just my watch, but the glow in the dark thing did not work very well. Um, even in the dark, it was really dull and hard to see. It is somewhat visible, but again, it's really dull. So I'm not sure if it's mine, but that's my only little quirk with this watch. Now, looking at the bottom here, you do get a date window. And then on the right side, you get Vincero logo 
and then, excuse me, my camera's kind of going in and out of focus. And then on the top, right here, you do get your minute hand, your hour, and second hand ticker right there. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the chronograph watch, uh, all you need to do is just press this to start the second timer there. And as this keeps on going, it'll change the minute and hour hand in proportion. And if you want to stop the timer, you just click that to stop it. And then if you want to reset it, press this button right here, and it resets back. So, looking at the circumference of this watch right here, you see it has the minute indicators from 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And it's there to give you more precise time reading, and I really like that, and it's a really uh, cool design here. So that's the watch face itself. It looks really, really, really nice. Alright, so that's all the technical stuff about the watch, but now I just want to quickly brush over the comfort factor of it. Now, I have been wearing this watch for over a week now, and I gotta say, in the time I've been wearing it, I really, really like it, which is actually kind of surprising because me personally, I'm not a big fan of chronograph watches, and I'm not, I'm not a fan of these um, sort of crocodile pattern leather straps, but actually wearing this watch and seeing it in person, uh, I'm sold, and I really like it. So, you know, I mentioned before the leather strap is really soft and it is really comfortable to wear around the wrist, very soft to the touch. And this watch case right here, the entire watch, has sort of a weightiness to it and that sort of added weight um, adds to the premium sort of bill to it. So this watch right here feels a lot more expensive than its, you know, $150 asking price. And out of, out of all the watches I've owned, this is probably one of the more premium feeling watches I've had. And it just looks really nice. Definitely a comment catcher, definitely an eye catcher, so I really enjoyed wearing it. And I gotta say, I have really no complaints other than I wish it had sort of brighter luminous hands, but overall, this watch is way, way worth more than its you know, $150 asking price, so I definitely urge you guys to check it out. So I'll leave a link down below in the description box to Vincero Collective's website. And that's it for me, guys. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down in the comment box down below. And I'll try to reply back as quickly as possible. And again, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like on this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.